you join me on St John's Lake on the Linear Fisheries Complex. Got down here yesterday and I actually walked around about four of the lakes in fact just to try and get a uh, bearing on where some fish were and where some swims are free. It's really busy, it's Easter bank holiday and um, I'm basically just jumped in dry trying to see whether I can uh, get myself a carp or two and that'll be a real good result I think. So on uh, linear fisheries, local knowledge is key. So I've uh, been talking to Jim Wilson and Tom Maker who've been fishing on the point swim on St John's. They've been catching a few and they kindly uh, let me know that there was some swims coming free. So I uh, jumped in, didn't really hesitate to be honest. Really want to try and catch one for you guys. So uh, yeah, got into the left hand point swim. I've seen a few fish and like I say, the lads have been catching. So it's really a good chance for fish. So the forecast over the next few days is rubbish, but um, we're still confident. Jim's just actually lost one, unfortunately. So they're in the area and I'm sure that it won't be very long before we get another one. <laughs> Sorry, I'm jumping the gun here. <laughs> like, I'm actually quite confident. There's a chance in there. So we're just on first light and uh, the lads well, Joe, Dan and Jim have all just got bites. I was beginning to worry, I'm not going to lie. I spent two days trying to get on fish. I thought, oh, I'm going to uh, miss out when the opportunity's there. But there's still plenty of time for a bite. Jim's been getting them till 10 o'clock, so I thought I'd uh, just come and sit in my swim, drink some cups of tea and watch for fish. And um, I sat there and my right and rods just dropped back and I've lent into a fish. It feels like quite a good one. It feels nice and uh, weighty all the way in, so hopefully we'll uh, have ourselves a nice St John's carp to show you. Big plated or nothing? Big plated or go home. <laughs> 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 oh my god. Oh my god, I got to I got to walk away. <laughs> Yeah, sorry for the frantic phone calls. I've uh, just ringing you to let you know I've got um, an absolutely massive common in the net, Linear. <laughs> oh my God. I'm, I can't believe it. Actually can't believe it. That is one of the biggest day ticket commons in the country. And it's in my net. If you asked me that, just told me that this morning, I wouldn't have even fathomed it. I'm absolutely in shock. Biggest carp I've ever caught, and I'm speechless to be honest. Um, we haven't weighed it yet, but we soon will. It's the Box Common from St John's, one of the one of the A team, I would say. And um, I'm absolutely made up. I couldn't I couldn't have asked for a better session, and I've only caught one. What a carp. Well, this is very much in the shadow of what you've just seen Max have, but I'm happy with saying first session on uh, any of the linear waters, first fish from St John's and it's 23.12. So I'm over the moon with that, it's a beautiful fish. 
And uh, from a new venue, new tactic, using solid bags with Scopex squid in with pellet and some boily flake and things. Single grain of corn. And it was a slap bang in the bottom lip. But yeah, like I said, what Max has just had is just blown it out of the water. And we're so happy for him. Uh, filming aside, I mean, it's a brilliant for an in-session piece, but so happy for him. Right, so as you can see, I'm drenched, but I'm absolutely in shock. I've actually uh, just put back the uh, Vox Common. Magnificent carp, and um, I'm a bit speechless still. Um, basically, got in the swim yesterday, as I said, and I put the uh, three rods on the spot, five spawns, so really light bait, corn and flaked Scopex squid with loads of liquid on it. And the result was that box common this morning. It's my only bite. I've actually got to get off, unfortunately, but what a bite to have and what a session. I'm really happy with just the one carp and I'm sure I'll be back again.